The best way to deal with the trench collapse is to prevent it. Contact local companies and verify that all utilities and other underground structures are marked. If companies do not respond within 24 hours, operations may proceed with extreme caution. A visual inspection of the area must be conducted, noting any maintenance or repairs that should be done before beginning work. Atmospheric testing shall be conducted to ensure acceptable oxygen saturation and the absence of harmful gases. If any hazardous conditions are found, the site must be cleared until deemed safe. OSHA requires that access and egress must be provided for all workers in a trench. Employers should provide ladders, steps, or ramps for anyone working in a trench four feet or deeper. All systems need to be developed by a competent person. Any other issues that might affect trench stability should also be addressed, including keeping equipment away from the edge and spoil piles at least two feet away. One of the most important tasks to be completed before trenching begins is soil classification. Understanding the type of soil being excavated helps determine safety precautions and emergency procedures if needed. OSHA classifies soil into four types, stable rock or types A, B, and C soil, with stable rock being the safest to trench and type C soil being the least stable. Stable rock is made of natural materials that can be safely excavated with vertical sides and remain intact. Type A soil is classified as compressed to a strength of 1.5 tons per square foot, with clay being the most common example. Type B soil has a compressed strength between 0.5 and 1.5 tons per square foot and granular soil such as crushed rock. Type C has a compressed strength of less than 0.5 tons per square inch, making it the least stable. Gravel and sand are common examples. This type also includes any soil that's submerged or has water running or seeping through it. Once the type of soil is determined, the proper protective system needs to be put in place. Sloping, benching, shoring, or shielding. Sloping is cutting the trench wall back at an angle no steeper than 34 degrees from the horizontal edge. Benching is similar except that the angled cuts are made to form benches or steps with vertical surfaces between levels. Benching can't be used in type C soil. Shoring is a system that uses supports installed in the trench to prevent collapse. Shielding uses a trench box to protect workers. A trench box forms a barrier around all edges of the trench, preventing cave-ins and protecting workers. OSHA standards don't require the use of a protective system when excavation is done on stable rock or is less than 5 feet deep and no collapse danger has been found during the inspection. Choosing the right type of system depends on soil classification, trench depth, soil moisture, and other operations in the area. It's important to note that several factors can change the soil type determination during excavation. Soil initially classified as type A can become type B or C if material in the slope system reaches a 4 to 1 ratio. If new work begins nearby introducing vibrations, an example would be jackhammering, if water is introduced to the trench, or any other factor that affects the stability of the soil. The competent person on site should be monitoring for these changes and adapting operations to facilitate safe working conditions.